Hey guys, uh, today I'll be doing a pickup change uh, on my Bohemian TNT oil can guitar. Now this is the second pickup change I've had to do on this guitar. Originally it came stock with P90s. Uh, they weren't very good because this guitar is not an expensive guitar or anything. Um, I changed them out for Lawler gold foil pickups and now I'm changing them back to P90s except I'm using the Tone Rider Vintage 90s. So I'm using the Tone Rider Vintage 90s because these are actually quite a bit cheaper than the Lolly Gold Foils I put in before. So the Lolly Gold Foils, I ended up taking them out, selling them for about 300 bucks, and I got these Tone Rider Vintage 90s for about 120 bucks for this entire set. So it saves me quite a bit of money. And also I've had some experience with Tone Riders before. They're cheaper because they're actually built in China, uh, but it's fine because I've used them before. I've used the Pure Vintage Stratocaster pickups before, and they're pretty good. So they're really good for the price. So um, I'm gonna put these P90 pickups back in. So yeah, before I gold foil, uh, gold foils, which are really interesting pickups, um, but yeah, a little bit overpriced in my opinion. So I'm gonna put back in the, uh, the P90s. They come with a Sofar mount, right? So these are the Tone Rider Vintage 90s. And um, this is gonna basically convert this guitar back to a P90 setup, uh, which is fine. Cause gold, gold foils are really nice sounding and they're really unique pickups, which is why they're so expensive. Uh, but still, these are like one third the price, right? So I decided to put these in. Um, for this guitar, it's a little bit unique though. As you can see, there's only one wood slab here for the neck. And then here, there's no screw holes. Usually you get screw holes for the mounting rings, right? So I have a P90 uh, mounting ring right here, but there's no screw holes to actually screw them in. So the only way to really mount them, in my experience, what I had to do with the gold foils was I had to Put this cardboard on here. I just super glue the cardboard onto the neck, right? Because the neck board is the slab board right here. And then I had to super glue the mounting rings onto the cardboard, which, um, you know, this is, I couldn't really think of a better way to do it because there's no screw holes here, right? unless I drill something, right? No screw holes here. Um, this is the only way to get the pickups to stay in. Uh, so I might have to do this again. Um, of course, it kind of ruins the mounting rings. So you just get like a piece of cardboard like stuck in the mounting ring. Uh, if you ever want to take them apart and uh, take out the pickups, you'll have to, um, the mounting rings are, yeah, you'll get some like pieces of cardboard stuck in it, and that's, that's really the annoying part. Um, but otherwise, it doesn't really ruin the pickups or anything, it's just the mounting rings that get affected. So I think I'm going to do that again, I'm just going to super glue the mounting rings on here and I'm going to solder the pickups up, right? So then it's a standard pickup change after that, okay. Found a piece of cardboard here that I could use. one is pushed up a little bit more than this one can't be helped because this is just how that neck is just how that block of wood is um, it's just it, pu it pushes up like this because you know it's not even the, the, the slab of wood is not even so that can't be helped all right so got the pickups in here now I just gotta solder them this is the other hard part all right than the other part, um, I think. So like I said, yeah, the wood itself, it goes up like this, so that's why it's not like even. It like it goes down on an angle, it slants down. So that's why this pickup is raised higher than this one. So nothing I can do about that. And this is the bridge anyway, so it's okay, I guess, because the bridge is supposed to have more output. It might be okay. Okay, so I'm gonna figure out how to solder this. Remember, so yeah. This is the pickup selector. I think I didn't have to solder anything here. This was already soldered. The tone controls and volume controls are already soldered. So I think it's only the pickup selector I had to solder before. Because actually the tone controls are the same for both pickups in this guitar. So I don't actually solder anything there. Um, I just have to solder this to the pickup selector. That's pretty much it. That's probably why on my Lolly Gold Foils I just had one tone. <laughs> pretty much. So 
I think what happened now is because these pickups are not grounded yet. Um, they're just wired, like I soldered them up, but they're not grounded. So what you hear out of them with the volume turned up to full is you hear the small crackly noise, uh, but you won't hear any like really big sound out of them because they're not grounded. So for example, if I touch one of these pickups, you hear something right. Right, now you hear it? You hear it, I touch it? Yeah, you hear the noise, right? So once I ground them, then, yeah, then you'll get the noise out of it. So just crack them, right? If I'm gonna touch it, then you hear the big noise, okay? So uh, yeah, I just gotta ground them first. So of course, <laughs> you don't wanna solder pickups when it's plugged in, that's dangerous. Um, now I, gotta, I just gotta ground them, so that shouldn't be too hard. getting these pickups to stay in place first and then um, soldering them, getting them working. So that was a pain. Pickups are on, right? Turn up, turn down the volume, you don't hear anything. Turn up the volume, hear something. Right? Turn down the co tone control, you hear a very muted sound. You turn up the tone control, you hear more treble, more high end. Right? So everything looks like it's working, right? Full tone control, no tone control. Middle position, both pickups are on, right? You can hear sound from both pickups. Show position, only the neck pickups on, bridge pickups, nothing, right? Not on. And rhythm position, only the, the bridge pickups on. I might have this a little bit reversed. I think for the rhythm position, usually it's the neck pickup, but it doesn't matter. As long as I can switch between the two, right? So this one, only the, uh, only the bridge pickup is on, no neck pickup. Okay, so yeah. Bridge pickup, neck pickup, both pickups. Turn volume halfway, turn volume all the way down. Okay, looks like everything's working. All right, cool. Um, so that's pretty much it. Now I'm just gonna assemble this guitar, put the back on, and uh, should be good to go. it that is changing out the pickups on this bohemian uh, oil can guitar it's a little bit more um, more of a painstaking process than an old guitar because you got to super glue these pickups in here right because there's no screw holes I can't just mount the uh, the pickup like I would a normal guitar I got actually super glue them in and then um, I gotta yeah I gotta solder the pickups obviously ground them and then um, yep that's pretty much it um, yeah, no, my, 
I'm slightly out of tune right now. So. That's it guys, it's the Bohemian uh, assembly, the Bohemian TNT, putting the P90 pickups back on, and uh, that's pretty much it.